Well, what's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here. And in this video, my goal is to make you envious of what I have. I wanna make you guys regret ever updating to iOS 9, <laughs> not really. But I had a curious idea. Planned obsolescence, is it true? We hear about it all the time. We buy brand new phones, they're fast, they're speedy, but with time, with some software updates, they become slow and almost unusable. It's like, you just wanna upgrade. You just wanna get back to that speed you had when you first bought the phone. So, I went out of my way and I found an iPhone 5 with the very first firmware it ever shipped with. Well, second firmware technically, iOS 6.0.1. So, this is the very same iPhone, both iPhone 5s. I wanna show you just how much of a monumental difference there is iOS 6 versus iOS 9. Why did you guys ever update? You guys are gonna kick yourself after watching this video. Now I know most of us are running newer phones. We don't care about little speed differences, but let me tell you, for people using older hardware, it makes a huge difference to run a fast firmware. Seconds add up. And iOS 6 was something special. It was the last firmware to run Steve Jobs' legacy. His firmware with skeuomorphic design where everything feels, you know, realistic. It's a lot different than iOS 7, which became flat and soulless. iOS 6 is something special in my heart. So an iPhone 5 running iOS 6, Let's see how fast it is compared to iOS 9. All right, so here we've got iOS 6 on the left, iOS 9 on the right, starting up at three, two, one. So the startup test is the area I've seen the biggest impact that iOS had on speed. And uh, as you can see that old classic Apple logo, I do miss it. All those long nights waiting for your phone to turn on after running a jailbreak, hoping it'll turn on. Good times, hopefully I get to relive that soon. And iOS 6 is alive, so notice how it's usable far, far longer uh, before iOS 9 ever even turns on, which is really cool. A lot of time saved there. And iOS 9 is here. Look at the stutter getting in there. So um, just to show you guys the version numbers, Let's get into settings. That animation lag, it's, uh, it's quite embarrassing. So even getting into the submenus on settings, and there it is, 6.0.1, 9.2.1. And something interesting, even if we ignore uh, the speed as it is right now, iOS 9, it takes up so much more memory. Look at that. This is the same storage option, 16 gigs, capacity 13.5 versus 12.6 and you get 12.9 versus 10.5 straight out of the box. So let's jump into some applications and uh, see how these compare. The App Store, it feels like I'm not synchronizing the opening, but it is. It's just iOS 6 opens them so much faster. As you can see, there's quite a difference there. The iTunes Store and loaded you know, far before this one is ever usable. Cool stuff. Now, the only area I've seen iOS 9 is faster in sometimes is the camera. So loading it, it's just a little bit faster to open the camera unit. Uh, let's try music. That's usable long before. So let's try maps. There's a huge difference here. Boom. All right, so uh, let's search for directions to Voodoo Donuts. That one's up so much quicker. So uh, not that far off actually getting the directions, but loading everything, yeah. Notice when I close applications, the stutter that goes into it on iOS 9. So. It's so silky smooth in iOS 6. That's what I love is how refined this firmware is, how stable, how smooth it is. All right, so uh, let's try some basics like the phone application. So this one's already ready to use. That one's still on the white screen. Same with messages. So these core apps, the ones you're gonna be opening up so many times during the day, they load so much faster on iOS 6 and that adds up. Believe it or not, that one second will add up through the duration of the day. It'll save you so many hours throughout the course of a year, believe it or not. So uh, really cool stuff. You can totally see the speed difference in so many ways, the silkiness of iOS 6. And there's something classy about the design of iOS 6 I will absolutely always love. So let's run the classic application, Geekbench, see uh, how these look. Surprisingly, the iOS 9 device finished significantly faster. And this doesn't say much in terms of operating system, just the overall power of the device, but hey, iOS 6 clearly ahead here 
either way. So uh, good stuff. Let's try out the Wi-Fi speed as well. The results of the speed test, a little surprising. Looks like iOS 9 had uh, better results from the same distance from the router every single time. I retested several times just to make sure. And final test, uh, Safari performance. So there's new JavaScript engines later on in iOS 9. So I'm curious to see here how it compares. All right, so the classic reddit.com, here we go. Wow. Holy crap, that's actually very surprising. Looks like iOS 6 schooled iOS 9. Browser performance, and almost every single way except Wi-Fi performance, iOS 6 was better. Does this prove or disprove planned obsolescence? I cannot say because it seems every single time an update comes out, your phone gets slower, but it's not because Apple's doing it on purpose to force you to buy a new phone. It's most likely because of all the new features and junk you don't need that's added on less storage, less speed, but in order to keep people updated with the newest and latest features. So I will be going a little bit more in depth with this on the iPhone 4S on every firmware to get a conclusive result. But thanks so much for watching, guys. I just wanted you guys to see how this classic firmware compares with something new and up to date today. It's crazy that the same phones running different firmwares can be so different. The user experience is completely different. Quite a surprising test, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Something a little bit different, but something I've always wanted to do. Stay tuned for many more videos. Peace.